So I have this sample web project here. Let's see how we can commit this code and how we can push this to GitHub. Okay. First of all, we need to create a repository where we can push this. So go to GitHub and create a new repository. To create a new repository, click on new here. And just give this repository the project name. So since my project is web project, and it calls web dash project. Okay, and you can write description here if you want. You can also make this a private repository and it will not be accessible to anyone else. But I'll just keep it as default for now and just click on create repository. Now our repository is created and this is the URL for the repository. So you can just copy this or just click here to copy it. And from next time, what you can do is this is also the URL of the repository, but you need to add .git in the end if you need to push to this URL or if you need to add this as a git origin where you can push it. So once we have copied this, go back to the project and here click on terminal and click on new terminal. Once the terminal is open, we need to initialize a git repository locally so that we can push it. We cannot directly upload the folder there, but what we need to do is create a git repository locally that can be pushed to remote git repository that is GitHub. So type git init that is git init and hit enter. This will initialize a git repository here. So as you can see, once this is complete, this has changed color and it has become green. That means that we have initialized git here. And after initializing Git, we need to add which files to add to Git or which files will be tracked by Git. So there can be multiple files, right? There can be a lot of files in a project. So what we'll do is we'll just type git add dot full stop. So this means full stop or period. This means that add all the files that will be tracked by Git. So if you have 100 files, all those changes to those files will be tracked by Git. Hit enter. And now you just commit Git commit dash am and then write a message and we'll call it the uh, initial commit hit enter again and now we have committed and as you can see this has changed to a normal color back because every change has been committed now what is commit this commit means that whatever work we have done till now should be pushed to our github so i'll just show you what it means in a minute now let's see how we can push it now the command to push it is git push origin master or this is the branch name you can uh, write whatever branch you have here now if we enter this command you'll get an error at the moment so the error is origin does not appear to be a git repository could not read from resource remote repository now this is the command but we have not yet defined what is origin now origin is the remote url right so we have not yet defined the original origin to be this url so what we'll do is we'll define that by typing this command get remote add origin and then that url so once we have done this now we know what is our origin this is the origin so now we can push to origin and push to master branch of origin hit enter And this time, as you can see, it is pushed successfully. Now, if I go back to my GitHub and reload this, as you can see, the index.html file is here. If I click on this, the code is now reflected here. So our code has been pushed to GitHub. Now, what is commit? So let's let me give you an example. So if I write, let's say, sample page change one here, right? Let's save this, and if I push it again. I'll get the message everything is up to date now it is because we have changed the file but we have not committed it it means that this will not be pushed to github so if i commit this and write change one hit enter okay and now i do comma change two but i'm unsure about change two so i'll not commit it i'll just push commit still change one so what i'll do is i'll just push again right now what will happen is only the changes that has been committed will be pushed. That means we have committed after change one, but we did not commit after change two, right? So only change one will be pushed. Let's verify this and reload this. And as you can see, change one is here, but change two is not here because 
we did not commit after change to. So this is how you can commit and push to GitHub. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.